Yo, what is up everybody? This is Henry here, and thanks for tuning in. Now guys, before I get into this video, uh, make sure you guys smack that like button, I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel, share the video, click the notification bell, check out my, de my description below, and go follow my social medias. Alright, cool, beans. Alright, now, um, first story here uh, is out of Fulton County, it's in Georgia. Uh, Trump may be facing another indictment there. There's a short video that I'm going to play for fair use, so don't hit me no copyright. And yeah, we're going to dig into this. All right, here we go. This morning, tighter security around the Fulton County, Georgia courthouse as a potential fourth indictment closes in on former President Donald Trump. Sources tell ABC News District Attorney Fonnie Willis will present her case to the grand jury this week. He lost this state. And he continued to say he didn't lose it. Willis's probe sparked in part by that phone call from Trump to Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger after the 2020 presidential election, where the former president appeared to pressure Raffensperger to find the votes needed to win. The Georgia grand jury has heard testimony from more than 75 witnesses, including Raffensperger and Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, who was also on that call. And now several more witnesses have publicly confirmed they were called in to testify, including journalist George Cheedy, who stumbled upon a meeting of alternate Trump electors at the state capitol and says that he was kicked out. Trump, the leading Republican candidate for 2024, has vehemently denied any wrongdoing. <laughs> Because I did nothing what? wrong. It's called election interference. Just days ago in Washington, federal judge Tanya Chutkin ruled in a separate federal election conspiracy case against Trump that the former president's defense team can publicly discuss special counsel Jack Smith's four count case against him, but cannot discuss evidence deemed sensitive by Smith's office. All right, guys, so you heard that. Um, yeah. <laughs> They're going to keep hitting this man with uh, more and more and more indictments. Um, like I stated in my last video, um, I don't think he's going to be able to run, guys. So you better get prepared for that. It's going to be a lot of protest. It's going to be some stuff popping off. And yeah, like it <laughs> it, it doesn't look good in this country, guys, at, like at all. I don't want to be the, the guy that steers fear into you, but... It doesn't look good. Like you got to get get out that normalcy bias, get out that uh, shell of yours. But yeah, we're gonna go to the next uh, thing. It's about precious metals, guys. Um, one, I'm not a financial advisor, you know. And yeah, okay. Now, gold, silver, platinum, all that's been going down in uh, price. I feel like this is the best time for you guys can um, uh, go out and get more precious metals. Especially silver. This is SD Boyan. We're going to go check out some of the. Do oh, well, I was on the Doc Stills. Um, they got a 2023 one ounce silver Britannia coins and some palladium and whatnot. We're going to go through the silver rounds, which is something that I advise you guys to buy because it's um, more bang for your, back, uh, for your buck. Got this here. This is a good deal. And then, in case you guys are new, uh, if you pay by check, wire, it's the cheapest. Um, Bitcoin, the second cheapest. And credit card, even that's a good deal, to be honest. But if you guys want the best uh, best bang for your buck, go ahead and get it check uh, via check wire, okay? These are just one ounce generic rounds, guys. Silver rounds. Silver is to preserve your wealth, not to make you rich. But if it goes up in spot price up here, if it goes up, just cost average everything. You can make a profit, but it's a long-term uh, investment if you want to invest in it. But, again, that's up to you guys. This is something that I have interest in doing and I've been doing for a year and a half. And I like it. It's helping me save a lot of money, too. Like It's also my savings account as well. And I'm also a prepper, uh, a prepper stacker. Yep, let's go uh, tw Trump 2020. Uh, oh, sorry, guys. Trump 2024 round here, guys. You guys want to pick one of these up here. They cost more because they has a premium. And yeah, we, we, we're we not going to look at this for too long. I just wanted to let, let you guys know what spot price is. And I think it's a good time to go out and get some precious metals. 100%. All right. All right, cool. Now we're going to go on to the next one. Now, 
um this is um just something short that i just wanted to add in uh anna's freedom if you guys know who he who he is he was a um, former um nba star his name was anna's Cantor. i remember him because he's pretty good i think he played for the knicks and a few other teams i remember him him uh on the knicks with carmelo anthony and yeah um i guess he's running for for for, for some for center or something there's something that's going on and he's not about that damn transgender stuff. Men don't belong in women's spaces, restrooms, locker rooms, or sports, which I agree 100%. Someone that did sports, my, uh, you know, I, I did cross country. I ran track and field. And, yeah, it's not fair. It's like basically I could have threw on a wig. <laughs> like, you know what? I'm throwing a wig. And, hey, guys, what's, I'm a girl. And, yeah, it's, it's not fair. M men or the superior when it comes to sports like it's it's not even a debate guys like we shouldn't have to be talking about this but yeah this is a little bit about him here if you guys want to read through it okay he was an average player guys you know he averaged 11 points eight rebounds uh half a block a game yeah he played 748 games like he's average you know that's for a center that's average guys that's not like star level, but he had one year where he was a star. But yeah, anyway, we gonna go into this now, okay? Now, let me get my phone out here because I want to do the little. I want to do something. Okay. Um, one second, guys. Okay. Now, all right, guys. Um, apparently, I missed out on this. I did not see this when I was going through. The news articles all right so at least 96 people have been confirmed dead this is from two hours ago right here guys um a thousand others are missing in hawaii and what is the deadliest fire in u.s history in over a century guys this is crazy right this the numbers at least 96 people are dead um 85 percent of the land was um engulfed in flames uh, only 3% of it has been searched. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be way past 100. And, yeah, this is sad, guys. This is very sad. And I want to give my condolences to the people that lost their life, uh, that lost their lives and also um, are still looking. So, me being me, we, we're going to do a moment of silence, 100 seconds, because by the time I have this video posted, it's probably going to be over 100 people. So, um, I'm gonna put a timestamp on a uh, on this video in case you guys want to skip through it. I'm gonna do a hundred second moment of silence. That's the best that you know, we, you know. That's the least that we can do, guys, for these people. All right. And then I got a couple videos as well. So let's get this started right now. All right, guys, that was a 100 seconds uh, moment of silence. Again, uh, my heart goes out to the people that was affected. This is, guys, this is a horrible way to die. Like, oh, man, it's just, no, it's, that's horrible, guys. That's very bad. And 
there's a lot that's that's coming out about this guys and yeah and there's a lot of things that, that could have happened to prevent a lot of people from mo m more likely dying from smoke you know smoking um carbon dioxide whatever it's called but yeah they they most of them probably died from that and there was um a, uh item that i have it's a um you can either use a and I, uh, a KN95 mask or this fire mask that you can use to filter out all the carbon and oxide and all that stuff. And I think that's where we're going to. All right, guys. Well, sorry about that um, technical difficulty. Um, <laughs> My cats knocked down my damn green screen. And yeah, it took me a while to get everything set back up. Um, just an FYI, guys, if you have any animals and if you're planning on doing stuff like this, don't have them in your room or they would mess up your setup. So I had to fix my green screen and everything like that. So sorry about that. Um, that, you know, the, that pause there. <laughs> um, I went from being emotional to a little pissed. <laughs> Shit pissed me off a little bit. But okay. Um, there's a couple videos that I want to play for you guys. Um, and we're going to wrap this up. All right, guys, this is the first video here. This is some footage of um, of the flames and whatnot that was happening in uh, Hawaii uh, with a fire. Sorry, guys. I'm still a little agitated from what my dumbass cat did. But we're going to go right into this. Here we go. Yes, this morning, as new videos show the inferno that engulfed Lahaina and how residents spent hours in the ocean to survive, anger is growing. How did the nation's deadliest wildfire happen with no warning? Did you get any no. kind of alert? No, no, no. 73-year-old Elizabeth Kahani, a grandmother, says no. she was so scared when she escaped, she didn't realize her face and arm were burned. Firefighters rescued her, treating her wounds, but her brother, Rodolfo Rokutan, is still missing. She's pleading for any word from him. I'm so worried about everybody. Hopefully, you're still alive. The search for the missing and dead is just getting started. Canine cadaver dogs arriving over the weekend and police announcing just 3% of Lahaina has been searched. Are you saying we're just at the beginning of this disaster? So for the first few days, we had done searches in the streets and the cars that were in the area, but we couldn't enter any structures. I know everybody, what's that final number? We're, oh, it's yeah. going to take us a while to get there. More than 2,700 structures have been destroyed, most of them homes. Residents desperate to get back. They're not moving fast enough. Yeah, they're not. It's just, it's, just, it's been too long. It's been six lacking. days. The King family lost their home. Their kids rescued by their friend and neighbor, Rafa Ochoa. They are all staying together with friends, three families under one roof, and he's angry at local leaders. Where were you guys? No. Where were you guys to, to try and get us out, evacuate us? No. We're mad. We're mad. No, we didn't just lose our homes. We lost our town. The cause of the blaze is still under investigation. Videos shot from the water show both how bad the fire was, but also how strong the wind was blowing. We're in the ocean. 19-year-old Noah Tompkinson and his 13-year-old brother Milo spent... Alright guys, I want to um, cut here for a second. See, remember what I was talking about, about those fire masks? This is the cause of probably most of the people that's died was um through this through the smoke guys so that's the item that you guys should have as well in your home just in case you know god forbid you have a house fire or something like that and you need to have some type of mat smoke mask n95 mask something like that or there's a way to charcoal use a do-rag and put some water on it i guess that helps filter out the smoke too but who got time to do all that but yeah it's a sad and um wow how did this happen like and <laughs> something else is gonna piss you guys off after i finish up this and i got one more video you guys might get a little pissed so we're gonna resume this here hours in the water along with their mother escaping the flames <laughs> Sorry. at one point their mother started to get cold 
Brit kind of like all huddled around her and just wanted to like keep her warm. Has your mom talked to you guys and, and thanked you for being by her side? We didn't save her, she also saved us. Okay. If any of us were alone, so I don't right, on fire. know if we would have made it. White smoke starting to come, which means. All right, guys, well, that is uh, the end of this video here. And yeah, this is sad, a very sad uh, moment in our history in America like this could have probably been prevented and it wasn't and now we got potentially a thousand plus people dead from this it's probably not going to be a thousand but it's going to be way past a hundred it's probably at least going to probably be two three hundred people when it's all said and done but got one more video for you guys so give me uno momento probable all right I am back um just the last video here um, it's about Joe Biden <laughs> not commenting on the this incident here. And yeah, again, fair use. I know this is from Fox News, but again, I'm using fair use. So here we go. It's it, it's civilians helping civilians, Americans helping Americans. And my suggestion, my susp suspicion is that's how they will rebuild as a community, as Hawaiians, as Americans. Yeah. Uh, so the president was asked about this over the weekend. He was he was on the beach uh, in Delaware. Just roll this clip here. A second, guys. Will you come talk about the Hawaii response, Mr. President? Uh, nothing there. What? His answer was no, no comma. I'd be he what the fuck? praying for him or with him. Yeah, we're going to give him anything they need. Could have said just. Wow. <laughs> you guys heard that? <laughs> no comments. Guys, these politicians don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck about you or I. They don't care. That's all. They, all they care about is themselves and their families. They don't give two fucks about you. That's why. I make these videos and I also make prepping videos. Only you is your uh, first response, guys. No one is obligated to protect you when it, when it comes to reality. The government is not going to come save you if shit hits the fan like what happened in Hawaii. Only you, sadly, well, it ain't sadly, but, you know, only you, you, you are only your, your first responder, guys. You can only save yourself and your family. Don't expect, don't depend on no government or even your neighbor to come and help you because it's not going to happen, guys. That's just reality. And again, um, it's sad that, you know, this happens, but the shit that, I mean, the no comments that th this motherfucker said, he put, like, he doesn't even know where he's at. Like, so he's probably going to make a speech or a written speech, but. It's not from his heart. It's from a piece of paper or, you know, the the things that they use to read speeches and whatnot. It's not from his heart because he's not already there in the head. And, yeah, this is who you guys voted for on the left. I ain't vote for him. But at the end of the day, the president, any other president, even Obama, easily, they would have made a comment easily. You know, my heart goes out to the, the family uh, and whatnot and everyone affected and, you know. And then just make it short and sweet and then that's when you make the speech later on that day or the next day you make a speech and it can be written down but at least you said, said something from the heart you know up front but hey it is what it is this is the climate of a country and it's not much that we can do about it guys so anyway i'm, I'm gonna leave you guys with that sorry about the hiccups you know my cat want to go and mess up my green screen that shit pissed me off but i got all that edited out and whatnot but um um again guys on your way out make sure you smack that like button share this video guys um comment below and um i wish there was a gofundme or something like that but there's no gofundmes for some reason about what's going on it probably is one now but you know this video is like it's coming out a little bit later so but again, um, I'm going to keep you guys up to date about the Hawaii fire because that's the most important situation that's going on here in America, in my opinion. So make sure that, not that notification bell is on 100%. And yeah, other than that, I appreciate you guys for tuning in again. Down the Monko, Monko. And yeah, I hope you guys stay safe. Be aware of your surroundings. Carry a gun, get prepared, and start stacking. And as always... Have a nice day. Take it easy, everybody.